Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to AVP Underworld. This is episode two. I'm your host, Nick, and I am joined, of course, by my co host, Mr. H Reviews. Hey, guys, how's it going? You want? And we have, uh, this time we actually have uh, Michael, aka Farewell34, who you guys probably know from like the Hyper Network and uh, obviously his own YouTube channel. How's it going, guys? Glad to be here. Yeah, and uh, so Michael, first and foremost, is a newer Alien fan. Like, he's kind of, I've showed him all the movies, I've shown him the ways. Of the, the, <laughs> the alien universe, uh, but I guess before we get into the topics, do you want to tell people like about your channel, like to just so they know like what you do on Farewell? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, basically, on Farewell Thirty Four, my channel, um, I talk a lot about movies. I do reviews. I do TV show reactions, um, and soon topic videos. So be sure to check that out. Maybe some alien stuff coming soon. Yeah, and do you have an alien topic video soon, possibly? Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, I do. Um, I got. Uh, is Alien 3 underrated? That's going to be coming soon. Ah, Ooh, nice. You're going to start doing explain videos too, right? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. But uh, oh. oh, really? Not, not, yeah, not like the other guys. five people that have just decided to jump on the bandwagon? Yeah, don't be an opportunist. Yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder who else <laughs> I'll stay doing. in my lane. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, <sighs> Mr. H, how are you doing tonight on this illustrious... Evening. It's illustrious evening. Yeah, I'm really good, guys, actually. Really, 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 really good. Uh, super busy day. Um, not a 16-hour day for a change, uh, but I was helping someone move okay. house. So, super busy. Um, but, hey, you know, got to jump on and do the podcast for everyone. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, uh, with that out of the way, well, I'm just to just to give you guys an update, I'm, I'm doing well, too. But uh, Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> we want to know how you're doing, Nick. You know, you're you're yeah, always putting yourself in It's so us. early here. It's like it's only like 12.30 p.m. Oh, whoa, and whoa, I just woke you? up at like 10. Oh, shame. And I didn't even eat or anything. <laughs> you did. You just said you were so getting food. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I made toast. Oh, right. That was it. <laughs> was it was it suitably so, uh, crunchy? It's crunchy, yeah. It's crunchy. You got some peanut butter on there. Yeah, it's good. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Was it smooth or crunchy peanut butter? Oh, Ooh, crunchy that's a really good question. Butter, always. Crunchy? Yeah. Man, Ooh, man. I well, I, I, no, I'm not going to judge too much. I like crunchy peanut butter, but if, I, if I'm having almond butter, that's got to be smooth, so... Anyway, okay. this, this, this is oh, that, that's a teaser for the cooking, the cooking and food health podcast, <laughs> Nick, which is coming soon, much. by the way. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Over at Mr. H's channel. No, it but... <laughs> def- definitely is not. Definitely. Anyway, right, let's get on. Anyways, uh, speaking of the news, I guess, to start off the show, there hasn't really been too much news, but uh, like I was talking to the other guys uh, right before we started recording, uh, there was actually a press junket for Alien Covenant specifically, where they talked to Ridley Scott's Michael Fassbender, and I believe a couple of the other kind of supporting characters in the movie, possibly even Billy Crudup, I'm not exactly sure, but um, that's all been recorded, I'm just, I guess now they're just waiting to like release it. Um, yeah, well... So hopefully I mean, they talk about the movie more. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there is some news, I think it came, um, it was actually, someone reported it to be in the top ten or top five horror movies to watch this year. Oh, uh, that's the playlist, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, well, I mean... The, the thing you can take home from that is that it is a horror sci-fi film. So that is different. I mean, that's far, far different from you know what they hailed Prometheus to be. So at least you know that, that kind of gives you some information on it, I guess. Yeah, also, um, uh, this is like a rumor, but I was looking at the AVP Galaxy forums actually today, and um, uh. supposedly there was going to be an Alien Covenant like TV spot during the Super Bowl. Yeah, oh, However... Shoot. Uh, it was pulled last minute. Supposedly, this is rumored. It was pulled last minute because uh, somebody else had the same music that was going to be in it. Huh. Oh no! <laughs> so it was like a, but obviously they couldn't tell ahead of time because um, they usually keep all the Super Bowl stuff secret until like the Friday beforehand. Um, mm-hmm. in terms of like what the what's actually going to be in the trailer, so they obviously they couldn't tell what music was going to be licensed for every trailer. Yeah. So it's just like an unfortunate. Uh, circumstance but hopefully we get that next trailer very soon I, i'm guessing probably with like logan or something next month yeah true yeah um, i mean they, yeah, I they see, like I to pair it up don't they that's really all the news that we have though i mean it's, been really tr- it's, it's like dry, dry. yeah it's been nothing nothing out at all i mean but they will be i mean yeah. you know the predator um started filming now begins right? and you know you've got alien covenant they they they're what give it a couple of weeks away from releasing another trailer or at least a tv spot there's going to be news yeah, coming up. Yeah, so we should be seeing something soon. Three weeks or something. But, but yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, so, as you guys know, uh, if you clicked on this video, the topic of the video is actually going to be 
uh, discussing Shane Black's Predator film that's coming out next February uh, 2018. Ooh. And kind of just talking about everything we know about the movie so far, our expectations and speculation about what's you know, going to happen in the movie, characters and all that kind of thing. So, I guess to, to open this up, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the rumored plot details and things like that. So, the movie reportedly is going to feature multiple predators, like the Yacha, Hunters, whatever. It's going to expand upon the mythology of the predators, like what their goal is or something like that. And uh, the rumored synopsis for the movie is that Boyd Holbrook's character, who's kind of like the lead character in the movie, stumbles across a dead predator while on a mission. He takes his gear, and that's why the predators are hunting him in, in suburbia. Um, <laughs> as you do. Yeah, exactly. They're like, hey, we need, we need that back. Uh, as we saw in the AVP 1, obviously, you can't take those weapons away. But I, I don't know, Mr. H, what are your thoughts on the movie so far, like the, the news we've heard? Uh, well, for overall, I think it, I think it sounds awesome. Um, there's a few things that like throw up kind of red flags to me, um, you know, in terms of learning more about, you know, kind of what they're about um, and their goal. I mean, they shouldn't have a goal. They just they just want to go and kill. <laughs> well, they just want to kill people, right? You know, the, the, the simplicity behind, you know, that as a, as a movie monster is what made it so iconic. Um, and it is what makes you want to, you know, know more about, you know, the, the predators. So, if they, if they um, allude to what their actual purpose is, you know, behind all these hunts and stuff, I mean, there shouldn't be a purpose. Is 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 more is more to the point. Um, mm-hmm. So that was a red flag. Um, and the other one was just we said it on the last one is that that Jacob Tremblay guy, um, you know, being cast just because I, just, you know. I've got nothing against the kid. I'm sure he's a great actor. I've not seen what film he was in. I don't care. Um, but, you know, <laughs> the, the fact that, one, you know, the uh, the character details that he's an autistic, bullied child. Come on, Shane Black. Like, you know, it's a Predator movie. You just need to make it as macho as possible. And uh, an autistic, bullied child doesn't really fit that bill. Um, and the fact that because he's autistic, he's able to you know, understand languages and he's able to understand the predator language. Well, come on. You can't, like, you can't... Is that actually what That's actually, that was, that yeah. was a character. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Um, you know, you can't have that as, as the linchpin in, in how, you know, how, how the predators get fought, you know, get, get, uh, get beaten in the movie because, you know, ha- compare Arnold Schwarzenegger to Jacob Tremblay. That is essentially what you're doing there. So that that was that was my those my two big big red flags. But aside from that, I was loving absolutely everything up up until that point. I, thought, I think it, I think it was shaping up fantastic. Great to have Shane Black, um, you know, back behind um, behind the franchise. You know, and, and just overall the fact that there's supposedly multiple predators. You know, in in what was it suburbia or yeah, it was suburbia, wasn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I quite like that. But you know, there, there's a few red flags. But, you know, okay. we haven't got much information, so what can you go on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, they just started recently nothing. shooting, right? So we'll, we'll get more soon. Yeah. Well, they start the they start February 20th, actually. Oh, it is? Uh, okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, uh, Michael, what are your thoughts, though, on the how the movie is shaping up? Because you, you know of Predator 1. Uh, yes. I am an uncultured swine and haven't seen the second one yet. Uh, but, no, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the first Predator. And, you know, I'm a fan of Shane Blacks as well, so I was excited when they got him on board. Um, and just from the recent casting, like you mentioned with Treble and then Keegan Michael Keel, uh, it's it's looking like it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting movie. And then the fact that they're gonna be exploring the lore um, more really interests me because you know what I like I kind of wanted to know a little more about uh, the the Predator and the, the different types um, and and how they function a little bit more. Um, so I'm I'm buying all of that. Yeah, this is a buy or sell. Oh no, <laughs> this is AMC Movie Talk. No, it's Collider. Exactly. It's Collider now, man. Come on. Oh, it's clear they've talk. changed. Uh, Nick, what, what, what do you think about it? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Do you want the, to see the Predator homeworld? Possibly, but the the whole leaked synopsis thing, where supposedly uh, Boyd Hallbrook's character gets the Predator's gear. Yeah, it, sounds a little weird to you. No, it, it kind of makes sense, I guess, because the movie is called The Predator, but you have multiple Predators in the movie. It's not like uh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. So maybe maybe it's like he is the predator or something. I don't well, know. Or, well, that is very true. That could be the case. Well, yeah, but or simply that he took the predator's item. Yeah, it's like some kind of play on the title word. I don't know. The, I don't know something the like that. Tundra or something. Whatever. But I, it, I, I mean, the movie sounds cool to me. I'm just glad that we're gonna get another movie in general because it's been like, 
It's not, well, by the time the movie comes out, it's been like eight years since the last one, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty it's cool like, to see them uh, coming back to it. And you know what's funny? I just realized that whole, like, leak plot or whatever, it kind of sounds like Ben 10. Also, I, I'm just looking at Shane Black's Twitter right now, actually, which, by the way, you guys can go follow Shane Black on Twitter. He's, he's a new account. Like, he doesn't have the little verified check mark yet. Bonafide Black. But, Ooh, um, support him. But he is, yeah, it's at Bonafide Black on Twitter. It is legit, like, it's his actual account. And uh, he tweeted out, actually, a picture of Olivia Munn saying, anyone who thinks this pretty lady can't mess up a Predator's Day hasn't met this one yet. So Yeah, I saw that. I was a bit... Apparently she's going to be fighting Predators, but the 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 press releases said that she was going to be a scientist, so I don't know. Scientists can also kick ass, guys. I, I guess so. Apparently. I just, I really hope it's good. I just want a good one. I love the Predator franchise. I just want a good one. Like, another good one. Ugh. Yeah. The interesting thing about how this cast is shaping up is that um, when you look at the original two Predator films, like, obviously the first one had, like, an amazing cast that you can, like, never, you'll never recreate that ca- that kind of a cast again no, ever yeah. in a movie. That's like, my boy. Like, every single character in that movie was, like, played by, like, a huge, like, a lister. I mean, except for like maybe Poncho and uh, Poncho and maybe one of the other characters. Like Sonny Lantham was probably not the guy who played Billy, the Native American tracker. Like he wasn't a huge name, but like they were all like bigger, larger than life, you know, type of guys, personalities. So the difference with this movie, in my opinion, is how they're getting like a like a smaller scale cast, I guess. Yeah. Um, but kind of going for the whole ensemble feel with it, like having like you know six or seven different characters that we're following uh, in this movie but, like, not huge names. Like, they don't have, like, any, like, The Rock or anything like that in the movie, so it's, like... The Rock is secretly the Predator, guys? The main that, one? I mean, maybe. He could do it. He's 6'5". Nah, he'd be too big. He'd, he'd, that, that's going back to AVP territory He's too bulky, now, yeah. yeah. You need someone that's, like, slimmer, like, taller. Like, Ian White, yeah. he'd be perfect. Ian White. Get him back. Get him back. <laughs> they should. They gotta cast him. They they did cast one guy. His name's Kyle Strutz. Um, he's gonna be one of the Predators. I think he's, like, 6'9 or something, so... Jesus Christ. I think he'll be good. Yeah, Mr. H, in terms of the cast, like like I was just saying, the difference between the original, even the second movie, because the second movie had Danny Glover, like uh, Gary Busey, like all these big names in that one too. Bill Paxton was in that. He Bill was like, hot at the time. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've, in, in terms of the cast, I, I really like the cast. Um, the main things, that the, the main characters, just the actors, which I um, am mainly looking forward to kind of seeing actually on screen. It's Thomas Jane, to be honest. He's not in enough stuff. Uh-huh. I think he's fantastic. You know, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, he was in a, a really bad Punisher movie, but you know, he he redeemed himself from you know the, the character of the Punisher by releasing that short film of Dirty Laundry. It's fantastic. He's mm-hmm. he's really, 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 really good. Um, you know, and Boyd Holbrook as well. So you know, those two people alone, I think, could carry the movie. And then you've got the other fantastic actors on top of it. Yeah, sure, they're not A-listed. Um, or well, yeah, well, I mean they're virgin on A-listers now, aren't they? Really, with their kind of recent work. But you know that that ensemble, I think you, you've got. Well, you should ha- should have a good movie. Uh, the yeah, Michael, what are th- yeah, what are your thoughts though, Michael, on the <laughs> the cast difference? It's not like huge action guys. It's like a... yeah, I think uh, you make a really interesting point with that. We got some people like you know like Keegan Michael Keel and um, Olivia Munn in the mix, and they are they are uh, like known, but I don't think they would categorize them as A-listers. There's some like comedic people in there as well, which it, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, they have um, Trevante Rhodes too from Moonlight. Yeah, and uh, he is yeah he, exactly. He's he's an awesome actor, so um, it's interesting to see uh, the difference in how they're approaching this film. Uh, and I think it's gonna, it might actually work in the, for the better. Yeah, I'm still hope, holding out hope though, that they're going to announce that Arnold is back. Well, you, well, maybe they don't announce that. Maybe that's a secret thing. It's an Easter egg, actually. They might just pull one of those. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. look, well, realistically, guys, and you know, I hate to be sounding like a sounding like a misery gets, but realistically, you know, are they just going to put him in just because? Oh, look, it's Arnold, and that would be fun. You know, it would be great to see him. Don't get me wrong, but is he really going to enhance the movie in terms of? <laughs> yes. Well, no, but, uh, but, Anything he's in. Look, come on, just be 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 real here. I know. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is fantastic. You know, put him up against the caliber actors that are already in it. His acting is not up to par. He will look a bit like a joke. No, that's the whole point. You want him in there to be the joke. What? He'll be like, he'll be like <laughs> a novelty. He'll be like, oh, remember that predator? Oh no, no, yeah. Dutch, Dutch was serious actually. Never mind. But yeah, but but still, exactly. I think... but that's what I mean. You know, you Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, he's great. I think he's awesome. <laughs> But then compare his acting against these guys. It's a different breed of actor now. 
and he and he no he may you know look very much out of place unfortunately yeah why can't they get any bigger names like van damme or something in this movie oh yeah oh yeah because van damme's really going to enhance the predator oh yeah or steven seagal or something oh oh, please even seagal please get the seagull down get get, just get some big muscle in there i mean really seagal's not muscle he's he just get john cena to be in the predator have you seen seagal these days Christ, that guy is actually. Yeah, he was great in that one movie, uh, Sniper's Special Ops, that came out recently. It was great. <sighs> yeah, what was that? A sci fi special or some TV movie? <laughs> or, or was that one of those that like, a, dollar, that dollar bargain bin DVDs that you could pick up? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they, I don't know. I feel like they, like the cast is good right now, but they need to like beef it up, I think, with a, a few big, bigger like action guys or something. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but it's dependent on the know. direction that they want to take the film in, isn't it? I mean, you could, you know, mm-hmm. they've got the main characters. They're not beefy guys. You know, they might not. I mean, the, the first one was, you know, an all out action. I mean, that's a real man's film, right? Obviously, women can love it too. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that. But, you know, it's everything that a guy is going to love in a film guns. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it is. It is. Oh, I'm, not, guns, I'm not justifying swearing, it. I'm big, just, just no, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, fault you there. It's pretty accurate. So, and do you think they're going to make this Predator movie? Um, so, sorry about that. Yeah, um, so. In mind of like this newer audience, new generation, and try and make it maybe a little more that, yeah, so relatable trendy, with those side characters. Exactly, there. that's what I'm thinking. Because if you look at the new, yeah, look at the cast, look in comparison to how they took it, you know, in the first film, and then even the second one was toned down. You know, the, the second film was toned down quite a lot. You know, they, you know, mm-hmm. it is of a time. And then again, look at uh, look at Predators. I mean, that is of a time. You know, they didn't they didn't have yeah, Adrian Adrian Brody. Jesus, I mean, he's not. I mean, he's not an action star, is he? Um, yeah, he was doing that Clint Eastwood accent the whole time. Yeah, oh, you gotta get out of here. Yeah, he was. But but again, you know, they they have to go in time. You know, Shane Black still has to answer to Fox, and they you know they are reactionary. They're not going to put out a film that is not of today. So I think you, I think you got a good point there, Failwell. I think you you know they are tailoring the cast for you know a, a particular um, you know group of people. I was going to say too, um, this movie. Because Shane Black's talked a lot about where where it stands in the continuity and the timeline. So uh, supposedly it's only going to reference... It's more so a sequel to the first movie, but it also acknowledges the second one. But I don't think they're going to like really you know, acknowledge Predators. But you can't. The it was on one. a different planet. Yeah. So you can't. That, that makes sense. I mean, it's... it's yeah. that, well, that people one... are going to be upset about that, though. How? It, what? They're going to be they... like, why doesn't, it, why doesn't there's no sequel to that? What? It... What? Predators. I, I, don't, I don't understand. How how could anyone be upset with not referencing it? Did they watch the movie? <laughs> it's on a different planet. Do you know what I could see people being upset what? about, though? Is that end credit scene with the... With, uh, I think actually this connects to a later topic. What was that? Hey? What? With, the, with the skull? The alien skull. Oh, but yeah, but that's in, yeah. That's in uh, Predator 2, isn't it? I, I, I haven't seen yeah. it, but I know no that one, scene. No one can be annoyed that they don't reference Predators. Predators was... A standalone off-world story. That was an offshoot. Yeah, I mean, it's still. I mean, it's technically canon, right? They cannot. They can't reference it because what Adrian Brody flew home on the Predator ship. Bullshit. <laughs> you know, it makes. It He's makes still sense. on that planet right now. It makes sense that they don't reference it. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. There's no issue with it. So the new Predator film does take place in 2018, though. Yeah. Uh, um, they really do need to. And it's using the real the real time mechanic too. So the first one, I guess you could say, took place in what 87, and then this one's 2018. Mm. So. Have the humans evolved? Mm-hmm. Oh, the predators evolved. Damn, I wonder what the predators' new gadgets are going to be then, if any. Yeah, that that's what everyone's waiting for. What the new suit's going to look like? If it's going to be bulkier, it's going to be a little more tribal. Yeah, but there is some. He comes I mean, out with you... like an arc reactor in Iron Man. No, but Nick, you um, you spotted some in the workshop, right? So there is there is some you can kind of see. Yeah, some I think of it. they they're kind of going. It's traditional. Yeah, they're going. It, it looks like the city hunter actually from Predator Two a little bit. Did you like? Did you? In think? my opinion, what? Wait, it was just a body. They're, they're both the well, same. like in terms of the armor and the paint job, it looks uh, like the city hunter. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, no, I can see that. But, How funny would it be if uh, the Predators, like, dreadlocks or whatever to, uh, to to resonate with some of the younger audiences, make it look like these rappers' hair nowadays, like, colored and whatnot? Please, God, no. <laughs> they're going to have grills on the Predator. I, 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 would, <laughs> oh my God. I would stand up from that movie theater, I would walk out, and I and would... Throw your popcorn at somebody. I would, I would bid that film adieu. You throw your slushy out in front of the audience at, at some. I'd say give Shane uh, Shane Black an Oscar, please. Yeah, um, but I don't know, like, because filming is starting soon, so obviously they're filming on location too, like in Vancouver and presumably in the streets. So you know, set photos are going to leak out from the movie. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, just like Suicide Squad did, they shot on location in Toronto, I think, and there was like tons of stuff out there every day. Ooh, ooh, shout out Toronto! Like there, there's certain things that like the movie, like for instance, if they leak out set photos and you're like, oh, Arnold's back, like that, that would kind of suck, right? Like knowing that. I guess in terms of like the surprises and like how it's gonna tie into the universe, like what are you guys expecting? Like how? But sh- like what do you think that they're gonna do to set up in this movie to for sequels or something? Well, Shane Black still hasn't replied to my tweet where I asked him if uh, Fox consider AVP canon and whether he's taking that into account. Um, probably not. Well, yeah, but I mean, look, I mean, he, <laughs> but he's gonna know, right? He, he, a hundred percent will know because obviously, you know, they, they know what they're gonna reference and and what they're gonna take into account. Yeah, they know forward. what's canon and everything. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, how are they gonna set it up? Uh, who knows? I mean, maybe the kid, you know, you see him further down the line and he's less. He's older. He's hunting predators. And... Well, God, I hope not. But he's Adrian Brody, actually. Yeah, as a kid, yeah, maybe, maybe. Damn. Who, who knows? I mean, if, there's such little information out there at the moment, isn't there? I mean, yeah, D- difficult to say. I mean, maybe you have you know Arnold Schwarzenegger come back in a future film. Maybe you have him at the end in an Ed cr- end credit scene. Yeah, he's setting up like the AVP movie. He's like, I'm I'm recruiting a team to fight these aliens and predators. Yeah. <laughs> Something. I was actually just gonna say, like, if anything, I could see them throwing in like an alien Easter egg somewhere here and there, uh, in the movie. Yeah. What if they do the alien skull thing again? Like on the ship, like the predator has like a necklace or something of like an alien, something from the alien body. Yeah, the tail, that little. That spike. would be actually pretty nifty. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't. I mean, that'd be hard to notice. I think when you look at the franchise, obviously Fox took a while to get Predators done, the Robert Rodriguez film. So long. Because they had been developing that script since like '94. Yeah. They were the first draft of that. They're like, we want to take the Predator franchise in a different direction. Because obviously Predator Two didn't click with people, even though I think it's a really good movie. Such a good film. So they so they took their time on that. And then, obviously, the movie came out, like, years and years later. And then they were taking their time again. They, I think they announced the Shane Black movie in 2014, as far as I remember. So, obviously, Fox wants to have this be a franchise for them. So, it's like, you have to look at, like, okay, what are they going to do next after this? Like, if this do- if this movie does well, people like it. It's the next Deadpool. It makes, like, five, six hundred million, which is a long shot, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like, really? what what do they yeah, do? Predi- like, really, what are they trying to set up? Didn't make much money. Yeah, Predators did it flop? I think it kind of. It did. It did. I was looking on IMDb uh, yesterday when we when we did the other podcast. Mm-hmm. It didn't make that much money. Uh, Do you sure. know what I could see happening? I think depending on the success of Alien Covenant, box office wise and pro- uh, partially critic wise, um, if they see a lot of potential in that and they know that people are really like craving this kind of um, this content, I can see them probably having like uh, a stashed. Uh, you know, video clip of an alien Easter egg that they might throw into Predator or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, you, all, all you've got to do is look at how, you know, they're ramping. Right. First things first, you know, Fox had a shared universe already prior to Marvel, right? So they did their AVP before Iron Man even came out, right? So they, they already established yeah. a shared universe. And now that shared universes are a thing, literally everyone and their gran wants to have a bloody shared universe, you know, on their hands. Which, you know, it only works for certain things, but it works. Yeah, like Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's oh, such ridiculousness. Um, but but it <laughs> works with aliens and predators. Like, it, it works, or it can work. It, I mean, it hasn't hit historically just yet. Um, but it can work. The comics and the games prove that it can work. The, and also, it's, not, it's no coincidence that Alien Covenant's coming out whilst the Predator is filming. Fox is not stupid. Mm-hmm, exactly. They're not stupid. Do you know what I mean? You know, they're, they're in it for money. Well. So if those... Well. <laughs> Nick throwing some shade there. Well, yeah, no. They did make two shitty AVP movies. I mean, how do you mess that up? But, but, yeah, but, but, it, but it could have worked, right? It could have worked. You know, you, you're dealing with, like, old mm-hmm. crones that have millions of pounds. They thought that it would... They, and that they was, it as was you mentioned, work. too, that was pre, like, you know, Avengers yeah. and, and the success of Marvel. Exactly. And now, now the um, shared universes are a thing, everyone wants one. <laughs> why won't they do it mm-hmm. if these two movies do well so if everyone listening to this goes out and buys a bloody ticket to both movies you know well probably gonna have like 10 viewers but whatever um then <laughs> no one's listening at this point yeah, yeah, don't worry yeah true but but do you know what i mean like if if, if these do well they will do it they 100 percent will no I, I'm, I'm with you on that one they absolutely will mm-hmm. because they've already established i mean there's what 30 years worth of of um, source material that they can use, you know. And yeah. yeah, that's that's a really good point. Like I had no idea until I, you know, until I started watching your guys' videos um, about this like rich and in-depth lore for both Alien and Predators. So 
um like you're saying i think it would be it would be it would be silly for them not to explore that in future movies uh, also uh when you look at the the recent comic um prometheus fire and stone and then which led into uh aliens and alien versus predator life and death yeah. and then even aliens defiance um that was that started in 2014 that was fox's attempt to soft reboot their entire comics line to make it more in line with the movies yeah so you can tell that they're trying to make a marvel style shared universe with the comics and the and also the games too because um in the aliens defiance comic you see amanda ripley and sebastian Station and everything so they're trying to connect that to the game and all that so yeah. i mean they've never done that before not to that degree so I mean, that, I mean that, yeah, they're that like is a really milestone. trying to like connect everything. Yeah, that's a milestone in and unto itself. I mean, they've never done it before. Dark Horse would, you know, have all these standalone stories. Do you know what I mean? Just run in. Yeah, sure, they have some threads here and there, but they they never did, you know, something as in depth as that. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're really. I mean, they're going balls to the wall with this. If you actually look yeah, at it. Plus, yeah, I think also um, was Colonial Marines taken off the canon thing too? Because that was supposedly going to be in it, but. Uh, oh. did, well, I think they. I don't know. I think they removed that. It. I think it would have been if Alien Five was coming out, because obviously Hicks was going to be in there. Oh, yeah. But, but <laughs> I think since that's <laughs> out, Alien Five. I think um, Colonial Marines is now out. I don't know. It's okay, it's shady good. gray area, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, um, <laughs> which reminds me, I hope they make a new Alien versus Predator game or something. Or a new Alien game would be good. Ah, or even yeah. a Predator game. But, but I'd like a Predator game. Um, I've, you know, I, I sung. Uh, Predator Concrete Jungles praises on my channel. Such a good game. They need mm-hmm. to make another one. Yeah, what was the other Predator game you were talking about last podcast? It's like Stealth Hunter or something? Or was that... Hey, I didn't know. It was like some other Predator game, I don't remember. No, no, this is AVP2. The original... Oh, AVP2. The original PC games are so good. Oh, okay. So good, man. Okay. And as well, like in... I gotta check that out. Oh, man, they're so so good. And there's different Predators as well. You get like Heavy Predator. Um, uh, the, Yeah, there's some good ones. Really, really good. Okay. Um, so I guess to in conclusion on the uh, on the Shane Black film, definitely looking forward to it. And like I said, a huge fan of the license. So obviously I'm going to go see it like a few times to support the movie and stuff. <laughs> uh, and you know, filming starts very soon. Uh, by the time this podcast goes up, it actually might have already started. So yeah, probably be February twentieth. Save the date. We're, we're probably going to yeah. sound like idiots because there's going to be lots of news coming out. So it would be like <laughs> no, the whole be like, full cast reveal, predator reveal, and everything would be like oh. But yeah, I mean, uh, that that's kind of our thoughts on the Shane Black film. Obviously, there's just really nothing to go off, really, uh, in terms of like details or story. Uh, we don't even know what the Predator looks like, or the Predators, I should say. So it's, it's just hard to make a discussion about it at this point. But uh, with that being said, we do want to move on to our viewer questions segment of the podcast, where we answer all your questions. So thank you guys again for submitting these uh, with the hashtag AskAVPUnderworld. So... First question here actually came from Twitter at Leet Fox. Uh, she said, "Hi guys, a quick question. Do you guys think a new AVP movie would benefit away from Earth in in space, perhaps? Yes, yeah. yeah, because then yes. then it's going to be set in the future, and that's what it needs to be. So yes, hundred percent, definitely. Yeah, I uh, we actually we spent a whole podcast talking about this yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, Michael, what do you think? A new AVP movie in space? Yeah, I agree. I think uh, I think being in space." Uh, would open up some some great uh, stories they could do um, for a new AVP movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we never seen predators in space like in the future either, so it'd be they, awesome. They might have jetpacks, dude. Yeah. No, dear. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, next question from Twitter. Actually, he says uh, at this is at Bellic Bellic Yeah. Yeah. Th- well, the... these ones, guys. These were tweeted directly to me, so thank you to my Twitter yeah. These followers. are Mr. H's. Yeah, I, I didn't get him to use the hashtag. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, go which, follow by, Mr. H, by, by the, the way, way, go follow Mr. H reviews on Twitter. Tweet at him for future topics and stuff. Please do. So, uh, question is, when did you get into the Predator Alien universe? This is a great question, actually, because this is uh, mm-hmm. there's like so many different stories behind this. But uh, I guess I'll just say mine first. So, I was first introduced to the aliens when I was really young. Like I had all the toys, the little Kenner toys, the action figures, the little micro machines. Um, which are like the miniature figures. Um, I also saw the first, I think I saw the first alien. I think I actually watched, no, did I? I don't remember when I, how the order I saw them in, but I remember seeing them young, like when I was eight or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that That's how I got introduced to the franchise, and obviously I've been a fan ever since. So Nice, uh, who introduced you? 
I think my dad, he's always been a fan of the franchise, and he was like, you know, growing up, he saw the Alien movies when they came out and stuff, and he, he still has the original Alien 1979 figure, like the 12-inch figure. It's like super uh, hard to find the, now. The big chap. Yeah, the big chap. I have it, actually. It's in my room somewhere. Nice. But, uh, but yeah, uh, Michael, how'd you get into the <laughs> Predator Alien <laughs> Well, Nick, so long ago. Uh, it's actually a funny, it's, it's so a funny story. Um, yeah, ages ago, I forgot. Uh, no, just pretty much, uh, pretty recently, just um, a couple months ago, uh, I actually watched them, uh, Alien 1, 2, and 3, and Predators. Mm. Um, thanks to Nick, he actually introduced me, told me, like, you know, this is um, like must-see quintessential science fiction films, and I'm like, you know what, let's do it up. And uh, we watched them together online, and then, uh, great time, honestly. Mm. I really enjoyed uh, all the movies, I think... They're all great in their own right, um, and they, they're they're very different as well. Um, yeah, there's good great. quotable lines like "Alien," the first one. Oh yeah, man! There's so Alien. My favorite one is "Freeze him, freeze him!" Oh, why can't you freeze him? Or or when uh, when those two guys they they always talk about the bonus situation, their money. Yeah, yeah. They're like, so what's about that bonus situation? Are we getting paid? Are we getting yeah, equal they're, shares? They're all just they're all great movies with great quotable lines, and I'm, I'm, I'm that's when I so basically a few months ago is the answer. Yeah, how about okay. you, Mr. Rich? Uh, I mean, I watched um, Predator, the first one. Um, that was what got me into the whole universe. I watched that when I was about five, I think. Um, and so you saw it in theaters? No, 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 no. When I was five? No, oh. of course not. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, no, no. I, I, yeah, 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 so yeah, um, watched it when I was about five, um, and then then I saw Aliens, the second one, mm-hmm. um, and then from there, you know, I saw them all. Um, and then uh, the thing that just propelled me into the, the core AVP um, universe as a whole was actually the AVP game. I spent hours playing AVP 2 online. Um, that had such a good online community. It was incredible. Uh, but yeah, so that was it, really. And then just kind of got into it ever since. And then the comics. Yeah, I need to get on that. AVP. That sounds like a great community. Yeah. Uh, also, wait. So, so you saw the first Predator, and then you saw Jim Cameron's Aliens. Yeah. Did you? So when you saw them... Was that in close proximity? Did you think they were in the same universe back then, or is that? Um, no, I didn't. No, I didn't have any um, any kind of notion of that being, you know, within the same universe. I just, you know, liked movie monsters at the time, so you know, kind of mm-hmm. just watched them all, I guess. Okay, that, that's all right. That's interesting. Uh, that's a good backstory. Uh, so, next question: Honeyman Clark One says, "Can you tell us something about the unusual skulls in the Predator ships that we see?" I guess he's referring to the ones in films, right? Like yeah. The... Well, I think I think he's talking about the ones in um, in, in Predator Two specifically because you've got the. I mean, there's mm. the alien skull. Um, there's one which mm. is very much similar to a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it has multiple. I think it's, eye yeah, it's sockets. Like dinosaur or something. Yeah, but it has. So it, mm-hmm. that's more than likely a predator dinosaur because it actually has a lower jaw mandible. If you look. Huh. Yeah, seriously, go and have a look. So, yeah, that was an, an interesting one because you look at it and you go, oh, that's a dinosaur. No, 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 no. It has mandible. Uh-huh. The more so, it, so, how that, do, so how do you explain well, that? Well, that technically implies, I mean, you did the video on the Lost Tribe. That technically implies that mm-hmm. they've been around for a very, very long time. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the Elder is, like, super old, well, thousands of years old. Well, yeah. Do you think time travel is possibly uh, something up there, too? Or? Probably not. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Well, we've just crazy uh, fan theories. We've just chucked you straight down there. So it's... yeah. Uh, but to explain the unusual skulls, I, guess, I mean, I guess that's just the that's just their the people or the things that they've hunted across the years. I mean, that's just you know decades of hunting uh, different alien species, like like what we saw in uh, Predators, the River Ghost. That's a, that's an alien. Yeah, I just uh, got a, go- a comment about that actually, asking what that was. So yeah, so I mean. Uh, I don't think we know too much about specifically what each species is. No, no, there, there, there really wall, isn't any but... um, information out there, if if anything, to be honest, on those ones. Yeah, I think actually I was listening to the uh, the Alien vs. Predator Requiem comment, commentary track. They got the engineer in there, and didn't they? I th- yeah, I think they said there's an engineer skull somewhere. I don't yeah, but it, it there it. is, but it's not. It it's a space jockey skull. So it's not, ah, it's not an engine. It's like yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's before they retcon everything. Yeah. They're like, no, it's just an engineer. And yeah, before yeah. Ridley squat, <laughs> he squatted on his own <laughs> cannon. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, final question here is from Maria Marisol Gonzalez Munez. Oh. Hopefully, I got that right. He's. <laughs> they said, uh, "Do you believe that they should add all the different types of xenomorphs in the movies Alien Covenant and in a future AVP movie?" Uh, I definitely say, yeah. I'd like to see other 
xenomorph strains in on film definitely yeah i think i think they so. they i mean they really should i mean you know they they say that they can take uh what 40 percent of the dna from the host explore it show us yeah mm-hmm. yeah I, I say you go for it too i mean um there's such a an interesting amount of different types of aliens and i would love to see that translated onto the screen and i think audiences would really enjoy it because if just seeing from your kind your kinds of videos tons of people want to like are want to know about these like you know flying alien queen and you know bull alien so um i i think it would be a smart idea to to, to show those yeah i did a video too like a while ago i think in december about the alien king and I, in the video i was like yeah i don't know how audiences would feel about like genetic alterations and stuff but I, everyone was like no we want to see that so like I really guess, yeah. man i've, yeah, I've had people want to see cool shit. i've had so many people said i've just i've just myself released the bull alien and people are like now nah, this is stupid i'm like what how's it stupid what are you talking about to me it's like dude this is like getting the regular ali- uh, regular aliens that we've seen and just making them even like cooler exactly. just giving them like you know different traits and stuff yeah mm-hmm yeah, I mean, there like there's just infinite possibilities for the aliens, obviously, and then um, you know just the various comic iterations of video games. Like, uh, I think I want I want to see Praetorians in a film. Oh, That'd yes. be cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've been around for so long um, in the ex- expanded universe; they really do need to be committed to film. Yeah, that that would be cool to see. Um, maybe uh, oh, what else? Maybe if they did something like the K series, I guess, like not exactly like a yellow color, but like if they did like a whole. You know, Wayland Yutani made their own. Uh, you you, you don't want to see Xenoborg? Xenoborg. Uh, yeah, I know, because yeah. you haven't played AVP, right? So the original AVP mm. game on PC had a Xenoborg. They, uh, Im- okay. yeah, they implanted no like c- cybernetic enhan- <laughs> enhancements in this uh, in this Xenomorph, Wayland Yutani. It's, ridi- it's ridiculous. Yeah. Very hard to kill, but. K series. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's uh, those are all the questions that we had uh, for this episode. Oh, no, that, that I, I, actually, I've in... just had one, one that... more. Come in from Twitter. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, this is this is Out live. This is minute. live, guys. We got a stealth question. Who's and, that? Uh, this is uh, Andrew Carpenter at the Juggernaut. Um, great name. Says uh, Atmosphere Reviews. What kind of metal is the Predator's wrist blade made of? I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alien metal. Yeah, some some, alien, some kind the, of alloy. The, the alien metal. Well, I mean, they, something on on Yacha Prime. I well, guess, they, they so. say in Predator too, don't they? They say that the spear tip is made from you know no, nothing known to humans at all. So absolutely nothing. No one knows. Soz. Mm. Sorry about that. Yeah, pretty. It's. Uh, I think we've only seen we've only seen the wrist gauntlet, the wrist blades, be affected by the acid blood from the aliens in the movie. Yeah, it's pretty durable. That's your that's your answer. <laughs> I don't know what durable. it is. I, I don't know. Maybe some some alien thing, but but uh, yeah. With that said, that does wrap up the episode. Hopefully, unless anyone else has a st- no, no. a secret question hiding no, no, any, no, no, anymore. All right, that that does wrap up the episode. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in uh, for AVP Underworld episode two. And if you guys want to hear more, or if you guys want to get your questions answered, you know, just leave them down below with that hashtag Ask AVP Underworld. And you can also ask us on Twitter, like we mentioned earlier. Um, you can tweet at Mister H Reviews or uh, me at who's underscore Nick. Where can people find you, Michael, on Twitter and YouTube and everything, just so they can check you, your channel out? Yeah, no, definitely. You guys can uh, check me out on YouTube at uh, Farewell34, and on Twitter, I believe my name is Fail Production one Okay. Hopefully the next episode we will talk uh, more about the larger expanded universe of AVP, like where it's currently at, obviously since Alien 5 has been cancelled, but, uh, you know, that'll be on the next episode, and hopefully, news, hopefully you'll hopefully stick around well. for exactly geez but (laughs) so uh yeah thanks again for checking this episode out and uh we'll catch you guys next time